Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Stepping Stones to AAC, Fun in the Fall. I'm Heather Prenevo, and I'll be one of your presenters this evening. I see people are still logging in, so we'll go over a little bit of the housekeeping as they join us. With that, welcome to our Bitmoji classroom. As I mentioned, I'm Heather Prenevo. I am a certified ASHA speech language pathologist, also an assistive technology consultant for Saltillo in Minnesota and Wisconsin. I am the um, person on the left, and I have Brittany Tony with me. Brittany. Hello, everyone. Um, I am Brittany Tony. Um, I am a speech pathologist as well, and I cover um, my territories for Saltillo include southwestern Ohio, um, northern Kentucky, and Indiana. And I see people saying that they cannot, it's a little bit off topic here. <laughs> they right. can't hear, but I can't hear, I can hear you perfectly, Heather, so I'm not sure okay. if anybody yeah, uh, if you're having audio difficulties, try um, logging out using the little X up in the corner and then use the link and log back in. Sometimes it is internet connections, bandwidth um, it is a busy time of evening, so I'm sure there are people streaming and logging in on the computers. So try that. Hopefully that helps um, with your audio because, yeah, we were doing some testing. Yes, sorry about that. <laughs> all right. Thank sorry. you, Brittany. Um, you'll notice in our Bitmoji classroom, we have a bookshelf of things. And if you've, again, if you've, if you've joined us before, you know that we've been adding activities to that bookshelf around how we can model core words with our AAC users. Also in our Bitmoji classroom, you see our core board. That is one of your handouts that you can use um, as a low-tech option. If you don't have a device or you want to use that in other instances, like maybe by the bathtub. And so we will move into our evening of fun. We want to start by welcoming you. And we know that using AAC with your child, your student is definitely a journey. And we want to be able to give you things that you can use with your child on that journey. And without further ado, we'll go into our handouts for the evening. Okay, so tonight we are going to be identifying core words strategies that we can use to model core words during fall activities. So that is the theme for our evening tonight. But I will show you the different handouts that we have available for you. This is just kind of an overview. This first handout that we have is our organizational tool. So this is what we will be using together to plan what, choose our core words, plan our questions and comments for modeling, and then how we're going to model. So we're going to do this together, but we do suggest that you download this prior to that section, just so you can jot down your own thoughts and ideas on this form as we do it together and then you can use it later as your own tool or to give to families for a resource exactly yeah our next handout is our reference tool or our reference guide for there are stepping stone to ACC courses this is the same this one and the organizational tool are going to be the same so if you've attended any of our webinars um, related to the Stepping Stones to AAC courses, these will be the same. But again, just to review, this will just help you understand what each of the sections are on that organizational tool. And again, if you're giving this as a resource to families, this can be a great way to explain how to choose core words, plan open-ended questions, planning con comments, and then how to practice modeling and, and try trying it out. So refer to this reference sheet as you are going through your uh, the presentation tonight. Perfect, thank you, Brittany. So as we get started, we chose the fall theme, one, because we are 
slowly but surely get, getting into the autumn season. And as I mentioned, I'm up in the Midwest, so we definitely have the fall colors coming in, the change of weather, all that fun stuff. And there's so much we can do with Core Words and our AAC around fall. So one of the things I came up with was going for a nature walk. It gives us lots of opportunities for communication, and we can use a variety of different core words while we are doing our walk. And who doesn't want to get out and enjoy this weather before it gets a little too cold in my neck of the woods? Um, we want you to think about all the different things you can see while you're on the walk. And so looking at this low-tech board, these are core words. So if you're not familiar with the core word idea, the majority of the words on this board are core words. And so we want you to use this as a reference tool as we get into our first video of the evening. So I went out with my daughter and my dog and we took a walk through one of our nature areas here in my hometown. And I want you to be listening and looking at that core word board or if you're familiar with core words, think about what core words you hear um, me using throughout the video that might be helpful for us to model. So we'll watch this quick video. You just let me know everyone if you can hear it or you need me to turn it up. Let's go for a walk. Should we go up the hill or should we go down the hill? Oh, we are going to go up. I can see leaves. Oh, sorry. I don't know what happened. Leaves fell down. You like to walk fast. I like to walk slow. What else can we see on our walk? I see a tree fell down. This trail is windy. Can you see all the colors? Okay. Whoops, my apologies, I muted myself and started to talk. So uh, with that video in mind, we're gonna fill out the organizational tool together. So in the chat window, if you could share, what are some core words that you heard me using throughout um, that video? Up and down, good. I see, good. I like, yep. Oh, Natalia, you're on a roll. Go up, <laughs> walk, fast, see, yay. <laughs> Cecilia, Sorry. guess what? Go, good. <laughs> you guys are catching on. I like it. So yes, and I tried to use as many as I could, um, just because, as I mentioned, there's so much we could talk about using those words. Um, <laughs> and I just, I enjoy going for those nature walks, so it was fun to do. Mm -hmm. um, the next step is taking some of those words. So the words I chose, and we'll fill them in again as we go, were walk, can, and down. And with those, the next step is to think about open-ended questions. And those are questions that encourage communication. There's not um, a yes, no answer to them. They are going to provide opportunities to keep the conversation going. So you might have heard I often was trying to do some open-ended questions when I was doing, but it's hard to do. And there were plenty that I noticed later where I did more yes, no. So it's definitely a habit you have to um, work on. So to practice with open-ended questions, I switched them up this week. So if you were here last week, these are different. Which one is um, an open-ended question? Do you like the cold weather? Or what can you see? Yeah, good. Definitely. What can you see? We can, uh, uh, so many options. There, I like to call it errorless communication because there's 
plenty of things that your AAC user can talk about. Um, so they can talk about the leaves, the trees, all of that fun stuff. And the answer to that uh, cold question is definitely no <laughs> in my book. <laughs> so <laughs> that brings us then to our organizational tool again. So as I mentioned, I chose the words down, can, and walk. So can you think of open-ended questions with the word down in it, or you would answer the question with the word down? What about which way should we go? Awesome. Um, what is down on the ground? Oh, I like that. What is falling down? Perfect, you guys. Leaves are falling Did down. The should we? <laughs> so don't use should we. Although they could respond with down or up, but. Good. Perfect. How about some open ended questions with the word can? This is another like very useful core word. There's so many things we can use with can. What can you see? Which way do you want to go? Mm -hmm. Why? Or what can we do next? Mm-hmm. Good. You get the idea with that one. And how about some open-ended questions for the word walk? Which way can we walk? Mm-hmm. Would you like to take a walk? Yes, definitely. Or my favorite, which my dog has only one speed. So should we walk fast or slow? <laughs> <laughs> which is why I let my daughter hold the leash that day. Perfect. So you guys get these. Awesome. The next step is thinking of possible comments. So if your child or your student is not yet responding to open-ended questions, which is just fine, we can be modeling comments or modeling the responses that they could make if they were to answer those questions. And so planning these ahead of time is helpful so that there isn't that pause and we aren't doing all the talking when we're modeling on the AAC device. So on our organizational tool, we're going to write down one or two comments that we can model for the child um, or instances that they could do as a response to your question. The key reminder here is to keep them at or just above your child's language level. So if your student is just using one button, one word, then just model at one, two, three words um, when you're modeling with the device. Don't be making full sentences. It's overwhelming to you to try to find those words, number one, um, but then it's modeling a lot more than they're ready for. If they're doing two or three words, then, you know, add a couple more. So no more than two to three words beyond their current level. It's kind of the rule of thumb. So when we start putting that into our planning sheet, or our organizational tool, we want to be keeping that in mind as well. So next, we are going to fill in some possible comments. So what are some comments to questions for the word down? I think we were asking which way should we go? What is falling down? So we might even just model fall down, go down. Let's go down, perfect. Leaves go down. Yeah, I like that you guys are keeping it simple, um, using those core words and maybe a few fringe like leaves. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the yeah. kind, that is um, a good thing to keep in mind, especially if you're just starting to model for your AAC users. 
is start simple and follow their lead. They're going to slowly be picking up on this and then you can expand and show them some longer utterances. How about some comments for the word can? I usually use I can statements or you can statements when I'm modeling with can. So maybe I or he can run fast. Perfect. You can go fast. I can go slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like I said, that one is kind of a universal. I can walk up. There's so much. And then if you really want to switch it up, you can add not, um, you know, cannot go um, just for fun. So how about for walk? Any comments you can think of for the word walk? I think that last one, I can walk up could work for this too. <laughs> I was just going to say, we can reuse some comments from before. Yeah, and in, you know, to that point, being repetitive when you're modeling, that's okay. We want our AAC users to be able to see, even if it's repeated, what those words are. So I often repeat myself when I model sometimes. <laughs> exactly. Walk Ooh, like that, walk more, walk slow, I can walk slow. Yeah, we can start combining um, our words as well. And as she, as Brittany mentioned, all of that repetition and then taking these words and using them in other ways during your day as well. So you know, go for the walk, walk done, exactly. Oh, I like that, walk done, yeah. That's a perfect way to wrap things up. Instead of just all done, we can, show them variety in our utterances as well. So awesome. Thank you guys for all of your feedback. This is good. The last section um, I filled in for us is step three, how will you model? So we mentioned, you know, looking at one word and it's okay, even if you are just modeling one word on the device. So we came up with these questions. We came up with these um, comments. But that's okay. You could still just be touching one word at a time on the device or on a low tech board. And that's just fine, especially as you're starting out, as you get comfortable and you think about where things are at, you know where the words are, uh, starting to tag them together becomes so much easier. So jotting down the single word or the one word model, what I could model, but then pre planning two and three word models, or if your child is a little higher language level, those four word or five word utterances. So I put in there, go down or leaves fall down. So very similar to what we came up with tonight. I can, or you can go walk fast. I walk up all similar to what you guys had given us. And then the next step is to find them either on your device or on a low tech board. And so this can be used with any core word based system. We have our WordPower 60 basic a low tech board on the screen here, and that's in your handouts. And so if you're using that same layout or vocabulary file on your device, you're gonna see similar words on here. One thing to note, and you'll see that in the next video, when I show you how I'm modeling and talking at the same time, walk is on the homepage here on the low tech board, but it is a page in on the device. And so, that's why it's a good idea to start looking for where the words are before you start modeling, just so you're not scrambling to try to find it um, while you're talking at the same time. So with that, we are going to go into our second video of the evening. And if you want to follow along on your low tech board, and I apologize for the glare, it was overcast that day, but still kind of a glare from the uh, sun and clouds and the trees. But you'll see uh, me modeling on WordPower, yes, WordPower 60 Basic. And if you want to try modeling along on your device or your low tech board as we go in the video, that would be great practice. What can you see? Oh, I can see trees. Should we walk up or down? 
We're going to go up the hill. I can walk. Walk nice. Up the hill. Let's walk down the stairs. I can go slow. No fall. Good job, Ned. Oh. Well, thank you, everyone. As Brittany said, please let us know if you have ideas, suggestions, or there's a survey that pops up at the end. Feel free to fill that out and give us some feedback. We'd love to hear from you.